Well, it is Friday morning. Let's set the tone right now. Hey, in the flesh on a Friday. <laughs> Welcome, nice. Paul Good Russell. To meet you. Hey, thank you for having me. Well, thanks for coming in early. This is an artist that arrived 45 minutes before the scheduled interview, and yep. I have to tell you, I love that. Yeah, you are speaking Ryan's language. Wow. That's, his, that's hey. his love language yeah. right there. Oh, I'm it. glad. Just Look, that. I was in the area. I was like, let me just hang out a little bit. Let's, <laughs> yeah. see, let's see the real stuff. See what's happening when I'm not around. My love language, that and off-the-menu pasta. So we'll get to all of that in a little bit. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so it, it's true this seemingly happened pretty fast. I know that you've been making music since you were in middle school, but like with this song, you picked a sample, you put some great catchy lyrics together, you put it on TikTok, and then talk about what happened in your view. Yeah, yeah, like, well, you're right. I posted it, TikTok and Reels, and people just loved it. And I had to, you know, because I hadn't created a full song yet, it was just, to me, it was a piece of content when I put it out there. Right. I had to then go back and go, wait, I guess I people gotta make love song. this. I had to make a song now. Uh, and so, yeah, it was just, I went back to my bedroom and I finished the song thinking, you know, hopefully it comes out. But but who knows? Because it's a sample and, you know, I didn't know the process of getting it cleared. It's been a journey. And, and wow. for those of us that want to use Lil Boo Thing in our regular, you know, out in the wild life, what is it specifically for? Wow. What does it mean? Like, how would I use it in a sentence tonight? At oh, the ah, the words Lil Boo Thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's somebody you love. You know, it doesn't have to be a somebody. I've seen, Could like, people, anything. there's a lot of people calling their dogs their oh, Lil Boo yeah. Thing. Mm -hmm. You know? It's got to be something that, you know, you care about, that you love. Okay. It's got to be kind of cute. It's got to have some swag to it. So you grew up in Dallas? I did, yes. And then did you, have you, do you live in Hollywood or have you moved to LA? Yeah, I live in LA now. I've been here four years and I love it. It was like home. And do you have a regular job also or did you up until this thing took off? I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I quit my job really like the week this song came out. Wow. Uh, which was wild. Yeah, I was working in tech, like at a, it was like finance oh, tech company. Yeah. <laughs> did you hear that? This, Paul Russell was working in tech. You better watch it. See, we have an engineer that studied history. Oh, and wow. So when it, hey. When it comes to wires, sometimes it's questionable. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, hit me up. Hit me up. <laughs> how, so how did you... So let me play the original song that you sample. Best of my love. Hey. Which, Classic. again, puts people in a, in a mood. How'd you pick that as a sample? Yeah, well, so I was listening. I was just listening to music, honestly. And I don't know. The thinking for me was I love how songs like this are just so happy and they you know they make you feel good it's like you hear this at weddings and you hear yeah. this at you know events like that but i felt like no one was really making music now that felt like that you know i think there's a lot of angsty stuff there's a lot of you know angry stuff which is fine and i you know i connect with that as well mm -hmm. but yeah it was like oh this feels different for some reason and so maybe you know making something that kind of references that would be fun but again back then it was like this is a piece of content yeah just throw it out there <laughs> yeah, yeah. get a few followers yeah maybe some exactly uh, <laughs> did, is it difficult to get permission to use a song like that yeah yeah it's a whole process <laughs> which i had no idea how it worked i mean it was yeah, at the moment there, i had people i remember i when i put it out there were so many people who were like the next time i see you on my feed it better be because the song is out and you're being like oh my god wow. if you don't Whoa. release this i'm gonna be so mad people and i'm here ownership. like i know people yeah which it's like it's amazing because they love the song, but it's also yeah. terrifying because well, I right. didn't know how to release it. And well, so also, not only that, like you set out to make people feel good, and they're pissed at you already. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, this is not having the right effect. Um, Le Boutin, Paul that. Russell in studio. <laughs> um, the reason I came to work today was to witness what I just did, which was Tanya and Sisney <laughs> dancing to you, for you, in front of you, to your song. That was so much that fun. That was priceless. I love it. And you guys know the words. Yeah. Let's go. I have used this song on Instagram at least have, does, dozens and dozens of times. I have I put to it, stop myself from using it. I yeah, like, me too. I do I, use it too much. <laughs> But the thing is, that is a great lesson in how to put a hit song together. Mm -hmm. I mean, artists work really hard for a long time to find something that breaks through, and that broke through. <laughs> I mean, like, how teach that class to us? Like, if, 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 I if, wish, <laughs> I wish I could <laughs> could teach it. Yeah, I don't know. You guys, you got to get lucky. What, I guess. What, what, without putting pressure on you, now, as you said, people get like really intense about what what's coming up and what's next. So now that that's everywhere, what what is your next move? <laughs> yeah, I mean, more music. I've been making a lot of stuff. I mean, I think the good thing is that 
you know, by the time that I released this, I had already been making music for so years. Music, and so th there's yeah. there's other stuff that I even planned to, to have come out before this. And then, you know, this whole thing happened. This breaks the it's ice. Like, oh, OK. Yeah. So so, yeah, a, a lot a lot more music. Uh, I'm still figuring out the timeline of everything, you know, which which is hard because it's like when you have something that's moving, it's like I don't want to. You know, I want to soak in the moment a little bit, but yeah. then I also want to get people ready and go, hey, here's a new thing. So, yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. It's an interesting juxtaposition, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, my really God. <laughs> wow. Ryan uh -oh. just learned that word this oh, morning. Oh, really? So. Yeah. Wow. Hey. <laughs> so, Paul, here's the thing. Like, you have a star quality. You have a, I mean, obviously you have a hit record, but I'm watching you. I'm listening to you. I'm looking at you. I'm, I'm watching the way that you speak and move and also sort of like engage people who are looking through the window, watching you in the studio. <laughs> that is something that's really special. And you either have it or you don't mm -hmm. from what I've seen. So you wow. got it. And Thank you're, you. And right. your hype people in the back are nodding their heads. <laughs> hey, there we go. Good. I, I don't know who's back there, but I see them. And one's very tall. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so the other thing that I re really struck me uh, is that you're a bit of a foodie, I see. Oh, yeah. I, I love food. <laughs> so do you know we have something like specifically in common about food and about pizza? Oh, no. What is the it? The guacciale pizza at Venice's Gelino. Oh, my gosh. It, first of all, I think they do the some of the best pizza in the country. I absolutely agree. It is, you know, we talked about Gelina down there in Abbott Kenny for many, many years. I can't go in there and not get the pizza. but it, And there's also like a three or four onion pizza that I love there as well. Yeah. There, uh, wow! I'm so glad that you mentioned this place. Yeah. I, whenever anyone comes to LA, I'm always yeah. like, go to Jelena, sit get some pizza in the courtyard. In, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so good! It changed. It changed the game for me. I didn't realize that pizza could be that good. It's. I'm telling you, <laughs> it can make you so happy. And if you listen to his song while going to have that pizza or after, it's going to change your life. <laughs> right. it's gonna, yeah, the whole experience. You're going to be a new person. Life change. <laughs> well, bro, it's so nice to meet you. I, we have been talking about you. And every time that we get to meet somebody new for the first time, it's such a great memory. So thank you for coming in to, to see us in person. Congratulations. And we look forward to when you decide to hit the button on that next move at the exact right time. Yes, yes. That's when it'll be. <laughs> but thank you coming, so much. Bro. Thanks for having me. Paul Russell, Lil Boo Thang. It's out everywhere now. Grins on everyone's faces exactly. in the studio. <laughs> you made it all day. Happy. There we you go. Made our day. <laughs>